a walk on the boom book club. I'm going to try here and today we've got a new video. We've hit a few hundred subscribers and by the time this video goes out it'll be a minus 10 but that's alright because we've got the best. I'm going to get some moist in my lips. We've got the best solution for the license plates. Right, so that was the worst ever intro I've possibly ever made in my life. I, I got stuck in the boot before shooting it. Like, huh? But nothing could beat the worst video on my channel when I showed the goddamn ashtray. But for some reason, it's getting views and a lot of dislikes. So all you dusty youths disliking it, mate. <laughs> You're blowing it up for some weird reason. So, you know what? I'm gonna keep it there. But that's besides the point. Today, I've actually got this package here. This is for magnet plates. So what this is, is basically a magnetic plate. What the last slot is it? So what this is, basically, instead of using sticky pads or cable ties to connect your license plate, we use magnets instead. So that means you can take it off, whip a new plate on, and boom, you're good to go. So I think this is the best solution for your car enthusiasts out there. Like, you can go plateless. You can change your plate on the fly. Like, if you get stopped by a police officer, and they're like, you've got illegal spacing on your plate, and you're like, sorry officer, look, there's a chicken over there. Man can whip that thing off, put the new plate on, and he has no clue. What am I saying? <laughs> See it under the installation, let's go. Right, boom, so onto the boxing, this is what you get. You get an air freshener which smells so bloody good and it turns to like cardboard, even though it's completely white. That's so much. Fragrance is in it. And the whole room smells like sweet berries. Slash strawberries, slash whatever the raw ice you want to smell it. But anyway, we don't want that. We want what's inside here. So basically, if you go to their website, I've actually bought the multi-plate kit, which I believe I can get two different plates on. So no further ado, let's get into the unboxing of this. And I don't need a knife, man, don't need that. Right, boom, here we go. Here's some set of magnets, and then the rest here. Lovely stuff. Magna plates, multi-plate solution. And what's even better, man's got a new plate from Utopia Plates. Oh, got the Lambo hex cutout, like, you know what I mean? Because obviously this ain't a Civic anymore, this is a full-on Lamborghini, 2,000 horsepower, 59 different turbos in it. Fuel injected, I don't, whatever crap, meth injection, ah, oh, who knows, mate. But I mean, this is quite sick, to be fair. Utopia plates, shout out to you. This looks really nice. Right, so boom, so the first thing to do is take off this old plate factory plate. This is the uh, show plate. And yeah, great, we're gonna have a nice time doing this. Let's get a knife and right. So, here are the instructions along with a little band aid, which I'm gonna come and use later. But on this instructions, great, cool, right? Thanks, Magma Plates. Oh, we don't need this, man. Right, so guys, look. So, we've got two different magnet plates here, both of them have a set of four inside of it. So, what I'm gonna do is gonna take four of these and we're gonna put it to one of the plates, and then these four we put it to the other plate. Now here comes the next fun part, we need to get under here. So, like before, this first, then we go to the sides, and then we go up there. Let's go. Right, so we've got this off, and the two sides off, now it's time for this. So normally there's, there should be a screw in here, and then there should be another screw in here, but obviously most Civics don't even, I, I don't know, I haven't seen a Civic that has one of these in a long time. But apart from that, there's actually one screw. If you go up here into the hand bit, you can see there's a small screw in there, which we need to take out right now, let's go. Now this is off. If you come to here, you see this little white box here. If I put my hand here, this is exactly where we need to get this. But obviously, you know, this is going to be in the way so i take this off and the only way i see so far is these three screws here so i'm going to take this off and then hopefully this bomber brass white thing can like go out here so i can put in these small magnets right 
Right, so guys, basically, I need one of those like ooga dooga machines. I mean, I, I could probably get it out, but I, just, I can't be bothered. So, <laughs> we're gonna try and finesse our way to do it. Let's go. Right, so basically, what's happened is uh, the the actual license plate is sticking to the car. I didn't, I didn't, I didn't, and yeah. And then because of how restricted it is to get in, I don't know. I, where the Raz Clark be putting the goddamn magnets is what I'm trying to say. Technically, we've got one there, and that should equate to the magnet plate here, which is above the four right now. So if we quickly pull this off, it takes a lot more strength to pull this bit off compared to if I pull this bit off. So I'm guessing that's in the right place. Right, so the new plate goes on here, right? But we can, it's actually a bit, yeah, you've got it in the right place. But anyway, this actually sticks to the metal. So if I get this, I can probably just stick it to the side. Done mate, done. Absolutely well, fin good. finesse the cops right there. The feds don't see this <laughs> The bomber. <laughs> right. Right, that sums up mount the plates. Um <laughs> What in the bomber ass clients going on? Jesus oh, Christ. oh Nick my finger when it dropped. Did you see that? <laughs> no. These are so strong it threw f I had it like that and it went like that and let go and it bit straight over. That distance, I caught my finger in the middle. Okay, actually, I reckon I could like stick this on that van over there. <laughs> Should I just finesse the van? All right, so boom, 24 7 glass and glazing. Oi, oi, there we go. <laughs> Big shout out 24 7 glass and glazing for letting me. Well, they're not really letting me, but yeah, there's a number if you want some uh, glass. <laughs> there you go, lad. Oi, the feds would never see that coming. <laughs> the most stupidest thing. Bomb or Clark. So update, basically, one of the magnets are in the right place because from the middle, I can't, I can barely take it off. But for the sides, this part's loose and then this part over here, it's not as loose as this part. So basically, I should find where the next magnet is there. And then, after I do that, instead of taking it off and then putting them, I'm just gonna put these stickers straight over the magnets. Right, let's go. Yo, yo, so it's been like two months because I could not be bothered to edit this video, but I have. But basically, anyway, these, I've had these ones for like two months and they're perfect. Absolutely amazing. There's only one issue that had happened and it only fell off once and that was when my dad slammed the boot by accident because he, he dropped it and then the uh, plate came off, but that's the only time. I have racked this car a million times. I should have POV'd it. So for some weird reason, I thought the boot was plastic. Because everything on the back seems like plastic. Half the half this car is plastic, for God's sake. But, but basically, the trunk the, the trunk is metal, which is why it sticks to it. And then um, the, the reason why you have those little magnets is for the bumpers. Because on the front bumper is where the plate usually goes for every single car, and uh, you need to have those magnets in place. Because the Ross Clark bumpers made out of plastic half all the time. If you have a car that has uh, its plate goes on a rear bumper, again you'll need that plastic. If it goes on the trunk, which most cars do. Then you don't really need the um the magnet but i mean the magnet is there just to you know i put the magnet there just extra safety basically because we need that extra protection in life anyway guys thanks so much for watching it's been motor rally what power